So you might be surprised to learn the next place you'll find our DNA2 graphics. It's actually on the road in the electric vehicle market with the new Tesla Model S and Model X. Hey, I'm Steven and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So Tesla's robo taxis are just about to awaken. Now I know most people watching this think I'm full of shit. Don't expect these things will be on road anytime this half of the decade. That's fine. I'm just here to tell you what I personally believe and follow the breadcrumbs. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am, I'm sure you guys will hold me accountable. But I'm here to tell you, I have an extremely high level of conviction that Tesla believes that they're within maybe 12 to 24 months maximum from awakening their robo-taxi fleet and having fully autonomous driverless vehicles able to take people from point A to point B without interventions, in fact, without the driver even needing to pay attention. In this video, we're going to follow the breadcrumbs and look at some of the clues as to why I so confidently believe this to be true. It seems amazing to me, but somehow the stock market seems to have completely forgotten that Tesla is even attempting to solve autonomy. I think part of this is complete skepticism. People just don't believe it's ever going to happen. Others think it's going to take five, 10 plus years before this problem is solved. But I think another reason too is that Tesla has so many positive catalysts over the short and medium term, it's almost getting lost in the noise despite the fact that this has been in their secret master plan from day one. With the Berlin factory about to come online, the Austin factory about to come online, the release of the Cybertruck, the Giga casting and the Giga Press, and a million other things going on at the same time, I do understand why the stock market may have forgotten about this critically important piece of the puzzle. But I'm here to tell you guys, this is the single most important piece of the puzzle in terms of Tesla's business. It's going to generate more revenue, but more importantly, more profits than anything else in Tesla's business by an order of magnitude, unless perhaps over the long term, their AI training service really takes off. So with that said, let's get into the video. And by the way, since I know there's a lot of crypto lovers watching and people who like free stuff, it's your lucky day. For a limited time, you can get up to $250 in free crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. It also helps out the channel. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. So you might be surprised to learn the next place you'll find our DNA2 graphics. It's actually on the road in the electric vehicle market with the new Tesla Model S and Model X. So we've actually, we have an embedded AMD Ryzen APU powering the infotainment system in both cars, as well as a discrete RDNA 2 based GPU that kicks in when running AAA games, providing up to 10 teraflops of compute power. Okay, so a couple of things here. First of all, is it just me? Or does the term teraflops sound like the condition that they make those blue pills to cure? Don't think too long or hard about that one. But in all seriousness, 10 teraflops is a sh ton of processing power. I mean, this is literally better than, say, a Nintendo Switch, which I'm currently playing my way through Zelda Breath of the Wild for the third time on. In fact, it's an order of magnitude more powerful than a Nintendo Switch, because as we know, you can believe everything you read on the internet. As Elon said, this is PS5 quality gaming inside a Tesla. Now, why does this matter? We'll talk more about that in a moment. We are thrilled to be working with Tesla to bring the power of Ryzen and Radeon to their newest flagship cars and look forward to giving gamers a great new platform for AAA gaming. Okay, so there's a lot to discuss here. I quote, we look forward to giving keyword gamers a great new platform for AAA gaming. Okay, three very important keywords there. Gamers, a new platform, AAA gaming. Now, I ask you guys the question, given the fact that Elon and Tesla's motto is the best part is no part, the best process is no process, they're continuously deleting things, saving costs, etc. Why on earth would Tesla waste the money, waste the time, waste the energy, waste the processes embedding console quality gaming inside their flagship products, the new refresh model S and X, unless they were highly confident that very soon people will be able to be gaming inside their Tesla. And I'm not just talking about while they're supercharging. 
Think about this for a moment. This is one of the most bullish signals from Tesla that they're extremely confident that autonomy, as in you don't even need to pay attention to the road style autonomy is just around the corner. So I've just headed over to the Tesla website onto the Model S page. I want you guys to pay very close attention. And by the way, I just these specs are just so ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Let's see, what is the first thing we see once we scroll down from the hero picture? Oh, look at this, all new interior. And what's this we see here? The Witcher 3, a legitimate console quality game displayed on the infotainment display in the front of the vehicle and a bunch of other games along the bottom there, Stardew Valley, Cuphead, and a bunch more. We can see Tesla is hinting quite heavily at gaming inside a Tesla. Let's scroll a little further. Ah, the very first thing that we see here, 17 inch cinematic display and a close up again, gaming focus. Let's scroll even further. What do we see here? Game from anywhere. Oh look, there's a screen in the rear of the vehicle as well. Again, gaming and gaming. Up to 10 teraflops of processing power enables in-car gaming on par with today's newest consoles. Wireless controller compatibility lets you game from any seat. One more time, lets you game from any seat, not most seats, from any seat. That includes driver seat. Now have you guys noticed? We've scrolled down, we've seen the hero picture of the Model S, and then we've seen gaming, gaming, and gaming. This is not an accident. We know that Tesla prioritizes safety above all else, yet safety hasn't even come up. We know that Teslas have stunning performance, and yet we haven't seen the detailed performance stats yet. This iteration of the Model S and the X is the version that Tesla knows will be able to fully autonomously drive without the driver needing to pay attention. This is going to be in production for a few years and Tesla expects, I believe, with a high level of confidence that they will have solved autonomy before they have to refresh this vehicle once again. Let's head over to the order page to see if we can learn anything more about the gaming stuff. Once again, we're at the interior section of the page and the very first picture we are greeted with, again, the hero shot, featuring gaming on the center console. Check this out. With 2200 by 1300 resolution, ultra bright colors and exceptional responsiveness, the new center console display is an ideal touchscreen for entertainment and gaming anywhere. And once again, game from anywhere. Up to 10 teraflops of processing power enables in-car gaming on par with today's newest consoles via Tesla Arcade. Wireless controller compatibility allows gaming from any seat. Tesla really driving this point home. Get it, driving this point. <laughs> That was so bad. I'm going to leave that in there. <laughs> and then we get on to some of the other features. So again, we're seeing gaming really front and center. This is another great shot showing the integration of the two displays within the Tesla focused on gaming. And by the way, guys, just before we move on, I'd like to go off the deep end once again and just speculate, just ask the questions. Given the fact that Tesla has this incredible GPU within the new Model S and X, what are the odds that in the future, at some point in time, Tesla decides to allow users, if they choose to, to maybe use some of that spare GPU, some of that spare compute to, say, mine cryptocurrency, because why not? Moving on, let's follow some additional breadcrumbs. We're now over on the Tesla website on the support section. I quote, transitioning to Tesla Vision. By the way, note Tesla Vision. This is important. This is software. This is a platform. And I think in the future, Tesla is going to license this software to other companies. Tesla Vision will become much like, say, Amazon Web Services, right? Its own branded product initially developed in-house, but then it's so good that others want to use this and pay a premium to do so. Now, bear with me, guys. This is really important to read through. We are continuing the transition to Tesla Vision, our camera-based autopilot system. Beginning with deliveries in May 2021, Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market, by the way, just jumping in here, the market with which Tesla has the most data for autopilot for full self-driving, therefore the first market that they should do this, will no longer be equipped with radar. Instead, these will be the first Tesla vehicles to rely on camera vision and neural net processing to deliver autopilot, full self-driving, and certain active safety features. For a short period during this transition, cars with Tesla vision may be delivered with some features temporarily limited or inactive, including auto steer will be limited to a maximum speed of 75 miles per hour and a longer minimum follow distance, smart summon, if equipped, and emergency lane departure avoidance may be disabled at delivery. In the weeks ahead, we'll start restoring these features via a series of over-the-air software updates. All other available autopilot and full self-driving features will be active at delivery depending on order configuration. The reason for this limitation in features initially is just so Tesla can make certain that Tesla Vision is meeting or exceeding the performance of the previous models that included radar. This is a watershed moment in the history of autonomous vehicles. 
Tesla is now so confident in their ability to solve autonomy with pure vision and neural networks that they no longer need to rely on the fallback crutch that is radar. This in tandem with console quality gaming integrated into the new model S and X together are two hugely bullish signals that Tesla knows they're just around the corner. They're on the cusp of solving autonomy. The removal of radar really matters. We can infer a lot from this. In fact, as I said on Twitter about a month ago, in response to Elon confirming that Tesla was removing radar from the hardware stack completely, this is huge. Tesla to remove radar from vehicles and rely purely on vision. Elon is basically swinging around Tesla's giant FS dick at this point. The robo-taxis are coming. If Tesla had even a shred of doubt that they wouldn't be able to solve autonomy with a pure vision-based system, they wouldn't remove radar from their production vehicles moving forward. This is such an incredibly huge sign of confidence. There's been a huge amount of debate about Tesla's removal of radar recently from two camps of people. Those who actually know what the f*** they're talking about, which makes up a vanishingly small number of the voices I've been hearing, and those who have absolutely no idea what they're talking about, but are happy to share their ignorant opinions anyway. And speaking of people who actually know what they're talking about, Andre Kapathy, the world's leading computer vision expert, chimed in recently on a Twitter thread of mine. Let's see what he had to say. So here's the original thread posted a week or so ago. Question, how many humans need radar to drive? Answer, zero. Allow me to be obnoxious. If you can't infer from this that radar is not necessary for superhuman, pure vision full self-driving, you are overtly advertising your ignorance on computer vision, deep learning, neural networks, and artificial intelligence. It's like having a big sign on your forehead saying, I don't know what the f*** I'm talking about, but I'm still going to talk. There's nothing wrong with being clueless, by the way. I know nothing about almost everything. The trouble, and what I find so astonishing, is how many people think they know what they're talking about when it's self-evident they are absolutely clueless on this matter. So my question is this. Are there any computer vision experts on Earth who doubt pure vision will succeed in becoming superhuman at full self-driving? Or are the only doubters a bunch of armchair Einsteins and or those who've swam far beyond their depth? Serious question. Ned Sir one chimed in here. We all know, or if you don't, you are wrong, that neural network ability will increase exponentially over coming years. And I just want to stop here. This is the point. This is so important. And people just, I just, it kills me that people can't infer this. But anyway, let's move on. If neural networks plus cameras can already get close, it will not be long before they exceed human ability. Bravo. That is exactly the point. At some point, as neural network vision processing gets close to human ability, so the overall system ability will exceed humans. Since neural network ability is still in infancy, it is inevitable that eventually vision systems will become superhuman. And then the GOAT himself, Andre Kapathy, chimes in, yes, vision is extremely information rich. Eight times surround, 1.2 megapixels at 32 hertz, by the way, 32 frames per second for those that are a little bit confused by the lingo there, is a lot of constraints on the state of the world, can be processed at 10 times better latencies than what a human meat computer could ever hope for with full attention. We live in a funny sliver of time where it's a contest. That last line, brilliant there. We live in a funny sliver of time where it's a contest. And this is where the confusion is. At the moment, people can't see into the future. They don't understand the exponential progress of neural network. They just don't get it. We're going to look back in a few years time when Tesla has superhuman, pure vision based systems driving around vehicles completely autonomously without drivers needing to pay attention because the vehicle is driving itself and go, yeah, this was obvious. Why didn't everybody see it? Get it? See it? Because vision? Oh, f that was bad too. I really want to pick apart this tweet from Andre. There's so much information in this. Let's think about this. You got eight times surround 1.2 megapixel cameras at 36 frames per second. Human beings have effectively got one camera. We can only look in one direction and we have attention limitations. We make a mistake, we get distracted. I mean, come on, most accidents are caused by driver distraction. Let me ask the question to every single male watching this video right now. If you see a 10 walking down the road and you're driving and your wife's not directly looking at your eyes, what are you going to do? Are you going to check her out or are you going to continue to pay attention to the road? I rest my case. And again, this final line here, we live in a funny sliver of time where it's a contest. This is where so much confusion is coming from because people are looking at what computer vision is doing today. They're not able to infer what it's going to be doing tomorrow. Tesla vision is progressing at an exponential rate. 
And most of you, hopefully by now, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, will understand how absolutely hopeless human beings are at intuitively understanding the implications of exponential growth. And I didn't even have time to mention the progress of full self-driving beta, which is soon going to be deployed fleet-wide. To sum this one up, we've seen two of the most bullish clues from Tesla. The removal of radar, which is huge, and the integration of console quality gaming inside their latest model S and X. These together make it exceedingly obvious that Tesla are very confident that they are now finally on the cusp of deploying fully autonomous vehicles. It's just a matter of time until the robo taxis awaken. Don't say I didn't warn you. So let me know your guess in the comments below for the exact date that Tesla will first awaken their robo taxis and the first fully autonomous fare will take place in which the driver does not need to pay attention. I think it's going to be a lot sooner than most people think. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like up to $250 in free crypto bonuses with BlockFi, use the link in the description. You can also get two free stocks with Webull and a free stock with Stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.